Hello, Bill Johnson here from Johnson Aviation with another maintenance moment. Well, you can see on the workbench here a, a lot of wires. It's really enough to make your head explode. But you have to, uh, when you're building a harness like this or modifying a harness, you just need to take it one step at a time. This is Garmin equipment. So the place to start is really with the uh, Garmin pinout drawings. You can see in this case, we're doing the uh, dual G5s, both the Attitude and the HSI, a GMU-11 and a GAD-29B. We're also doing the uh, GAD-13. And one of the common elements of Garmin installations is what they call the CAN bus. And you can see the CAN bus runs here to here to here, down to there, and then also to the GAD-13. And the CAN bus is a communication bus and there's terminations on both ends of the CAN bus. So what I've been working on today is modifying a harness that we received. The customer wanted to add a second G5 and the GAD-13 to the unit or to the airplane after we'd received this harness. So I am working on that, putting that in place. This connector goes to the GMU-11, which will go out in the wingtip and it will have a termination resistor on it since it will be the end of the CAN bus. It then goes down here to the uh, GAD-29. The GAD-29, it's coming out to the GAD-13, which basically gives you wind speed and direction on your G5. That will go to the, the first G5 attitude indicator, which I'm still working on wiring up. And then that one will go to the other G5, which is the HSI. So basically I had to cut the CAN bus wire that they had going to this G5 in order to install the GAD-13 and the GAD and the other G5. Anyway, it looks like a lot of work. It's mostly uh, thinking work and making, being uh, very careful that you uh, get the pins in the right holes. With most things, 99.9% .9 is good enough, but uh, it's not good enough when it comes to wiring. You have one wire out of place and, and things won't work. If you do any avionics wiring, there's tools you need. This is a special crimper. It crimps these little pins that go in the, uh, the slide into those sockets. I'll show you here the pins. Slide those on the wires and use that special crimper. Of course you need strippers and you need some cutters. And then you need the uh, other crimpers if you're gonna put any of the uh, standard amp terminals in place. So that's what we're working on now. Once that's done, I will take it out to the plane and start putting the harness in place and hopefully get the watt radios put in and power this up this week. I will keep you informed and show you how it all works once it's all in the airplane. Thanks and have a great day.